Hey everyone, this is Eric from HowToRecordMusic.com and today I'm going to give you a uh, quick 5 minute mix tip on how to slow down audio or speed up audio in Logic Pro X. Um, it's going to be pretty quick. I made a quick track here. We're going to have a listen uh, in a moment and um, we'll figure out some parts to speed up and we'll figure out some parts to slow down. I think I'll just do like the ending here and maybe the beginning or something, make it really simple. You'll get the idea and you can use it in your own mixes. Um, it's a cool trick and it works pretty much in any DAW. Um, not the same, of course, this is Logic. Um, but yeah, it's out there. There's other tutorials on it. I just felt like doing it because, <clears throat> excuse me, um, because I feel like it's one of those things that, uh, that I, I like to incorporate in some of my tracks. So let's have a listen to this and uh, we'll dive into it. So that's that. I'm going to kill one little thing here. I didn't like this little glitch somewhere in here. Um, let me hear that again. It's at the end. Did, did. Yeah, I didn't like that. I'm not quite sure where that is, but I think it's here. Yeah, that one. So I'm going to kill that one. Let's hear that again. All right, cool. Um, <clears throat> so let's get into it. So I think what I'll do here is um, I'm just going to make this slow down this entire p actually where is this that piece d -d 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 -d. from all of this so I'm going to select everything and command T which will trim the entire thing I'll say split it yes I do want to split now what we need to do since this is all audio or I'm sorry this is all MIDI we're gonna have to uh, ex uh, bounce this in place. And so there's probably an easier way to do it, but the way I do it is uh, we'll just start from each one, bounce in place, um, leave everything as it is if you'd like, or you could delete it, or you could leave it, or you can mute it, which is what I'm going to do. You can also choose to leave the audio tail, which I find great because you can use that um, in various parts of your track. Because it's audio, you can chop it up any which way you want. So let's just uh, go ahead and do that. Um, we'll click OK. <clears throat> we'll do this for the rest of all of these tracks here. So we'll do the same thing. You can also do this by doing Control um, uh, B for bounce. <clears throat> okay, moving on, moving on. Get this done quick so you guys can do your work. All right, moving on, moving on, moving on. <clears throat> That's nice. It has a longer tail for that piece of audio. Okay. These two pieces are named the same, but they're not the same. There's a it's a bass, a lower a lower octave bass. Uh, no, it's not a lower octave bass. It's a different instrument, but it's it's using the same uh, the same MIDI. All right. So now we have all of that. <clears throat> Let's have a listen. We should hear it just as it was before. And it has a nice tail to it. So what you want to do is you want to highlight all these pieces again. And let me zoom in like that. And then you're going to 
click your fade tool, which I have in my secondary right click option, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to select the last of the longest uh, track and you're going to drag all the way over. Now, let me undo that because I want you to see what I'm doing here. Um, so everything's selected, hold down command and click on the top right and drag everything over. Now all that did was did a fade. Let's have a listen. It's just a simple fade out. But if you right click, you can do slow down, fade out, crossfade, equal power, crossfade, S curved, crossfade, remove the fade or do something else. In this case, we're gonna slow it down. So we'll click slow down and then turn it to an, a yellow, orange, amber color. Let's have a listen to that. little dramatic but I'm, I'm kind of into that so you could also um, you don't have to do the entire thing you could bring this back and adjust the curve as you would let's see if I can do that the right way let's make it start on bar 51 um, and everything did everything adjust no not everything did adjust let's try that again we'll just drag drag this over here to bar 51 right click slow down uh, I see what happens. So some of these pieces, since this one's longer, is not going to take shape like that. So there you go. That's kind of cool. Um, now let's go to the front and we'll do the same thing with this piece right here. We'll speed it up. So we're going to bounce this first piece, which sounds like this. And we'll speed that one in. So we'll bounce that one in place, click OK, OK, bounce it, get the file. And then you want to hold uh, Command and drag it in like so for a fade. So you can see down here it's a fade. And right click it. And now we have the option of speeding up. So let's do that. So there you go guys, that's how you speed up or slow down audio inside of Logic Pro X. And once again, this is a like a, maybe a five minute, maybe a six minute, maybe even a seven minute uh, quick tip on how to do all of this. Um, thanks again for watching. Once again, I'm Eric with howtorecordmusic.com. Have a great one.